What's the plane called? Minnapodala. On her aeroplane with her artwork to go and have a big launch and celebration together with all the um, wider family and, and special friends. Enjoy Thank your flight. You. Thank you. A special trip today. Let's fly the newest Qantas airplane to Uluru, the rest center of Australia. Hello, how are, how are you? How are you? Welcome. Good. Welcome on our brand new aircraft. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm here. I'm in the window seat here. Should look at this. How cool these are. The special pillow for today's flight. This one is definitely to take home. Very excited to be here. It's nice. Our newest aircraft ever, the yes. A220. It's got that new plane smell. It does. We can finally unveil it to everyone. Is required. A mask will appear from above you. Pull down on it firmly to activate the flow of oxygen. So here we go, and if you haven't noticed, our tail is not the red kangaroo. This one definitely stands out among all the red tails. liveries that we've ever designed on, our, on one of our aircraft uh, and it's uh, with great pride that a hundred people from Airbus helped complete the livery on this, on this aircraft. Just had a beautiful lunch. That is an upgrade. Usually in the economy, you would not get that kind of lunch, right? So there's a special flight. Um, looking out the window while enjoying that lunch, I think we're getting very close. The landscape has changed. It's going red, and then it's going in all different colors and very dry. There's not even a cloud right now on the horizon. I'm with a very special guest all the way from Canada, from Montreal, the father of A220, Mr. Rob Deere. The question I just have for you is, how did you came up with an airplane like this? Yeah, basically we started back in, uh, when we launched the program in 2008. And, uh, you know, essentially we really saw a market need for this aircraft. So we looked at all the technology that we could add. Uh, it was a challenging birth. It took uh, eight years. 
Uh, we started this in 2008 and the first aircraft was delivered to Swiss Airlines in uh, 2016. And uh, of course, since that, we've been growing, uh, ramping up the program. Uh, we now have over 20 customers. And I want to mention a few things about Qantas. Was, of course, because of the geography of um, Australia and the range, they really drove the, the range of the aircraft, which uh, was really, um, you know, uh, at the time, a big foresight, because it turned out that now many of the customers that weren't so sure they needed the range use it. So coming to the numbers, how many A220 you're building? in the factory in Canada? Well, so far we've delivered 314 uh, aircraft to uh, 20 uh, operators that are operating aircraft today. Uh, we've sold 914 aircraft total and so we have a backlog today of 600 aircraft. So I also went around the cabin, had a look at new airplane, 10 business class seats, 127 economy. Uh, row 4 to row 9 on the left side, the two-seater, row 4 to row 9, A and C, has extra leg room. We're currently cruising at 36,000 feet at uh, mark 0.78, and we have about an hour to go uh, before we land into Ayers Rock, all the rest. What's the approach like into Ayers Rock? Uh, so we're going to fly, because of the wind direction, we're going to fly an RMP approach today into Ayers Rock. It's quite warm there, it's 44 degrees Celsius at the moment, and the wind is from the uh, southeast at about 20 kilometers an hour. 44 degrees? 44 degrees, so it's The airplane rare. doesn't like heat. Uh, I don't like heat either, <laughs> <laughs> the, the airplane, uh, it should perform well, but it's, it's very hot, 44 degrees Celsius. Whoa, it's very bumpy now, very bumpy. We're coming close to land, but I think because the thermal, the heat in this place, 43 degrees outside, um, we'll check with the captain after landing on the ground. the traditional custodians of the airport land, the Rango people, and pay respects to elders past and present. Here I landed. As we were approaching, the color is getting deeper and deeper. It becomes from red to orange. And then I started to see a lot of vegetation. I thought this place was just desert, like Saudi Arabia or something. But there's lots of trees here. It's very interesting. Never seen something like this before. Hi, uh, Captain Pat here, uh, flying the A220. We did uh, Sydney to uh, Airs Rock. Uh, we came at 36,000 feet, two hours and 20 minutes. Right, that was a yeah. bumpy approach. It was. Everyone go, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite turbulent because it's so hot in there. Uh, today it's 44 degrees at the moment, so that with the thermaling. Uh, bye bye. bye. Wow, the heat. <laughs> quite similar to the Middle East, but what a beautiful setting here. Balaringi. Marinka is actually the artist who came up with this beautiful indigenous design. After leaving the airport, we went to enjoy a spectacular sunset and drone show over the Uluru.
beautiful sunrise. Look at the landscape here, majestic. At the same time, um, why I'm wearing a net? Because the flies work really hard. They work harder than human. They came out really early at sunrise to come and buck you here. Here I'm inside a cave, of one of many caves here, and um, it's very interesting. People told me I should come here in rain time, and you see waterfall coming down from the rock, and you can see water marks as well. My visit to Uluru was a very special one. It was my first time set foot in the Australian outback, even though I lived in the country for 14 years. To end the video, here are some most beautiful flying footage of the new Qantas A220. Thank you for joining me.